Yo guys, what's up? Here is Xlantech with another tutorial for you guys today. In this tutorial for creating the best MV possible, I am going to teach you how to create the perfect transition inside of your Sony Vegas Pro 13. The transition will be self-made. We won't do this. Click on a transition and then move it between these two here. It looks completely like crap, isn't it? Look, look at this. It looks completely shitty. We want to create this transition which you can see right here. Nice, smooth and fast. Completely awesome. You want to have a project file, of course. I have my Hunter x Hunter right here. After that I want to remove my sound and we have the project file only with the widow and now I'm going to search for Nefropito's eye I will need to find it and we have it just here I want to remove this one too this one too, I want to split it in half uh, if you want to split the widow in half just click on S I told you guys that in my last tutorial, if you want you can check that tutorial too. Now split the eye between Nefropito and between Gon. Just like this one here. And make sure you split this one, split this one too in half. From Nefropito's face to Gon. Just like this one here. And now what you want to do is you want to remove this annoying Nippon TV sign. Just click on Event and Pancrop tool. Make sure these two marks are checked and resize it only by clicking one time. Just like this. Move it now completely to the left side. And make sure it's checked on moved in X only. After that you want to do the same thing only to the second part of the video. To the first keyframe and make sure the keyframe is set to the first one when you do that. After that you want to... I want to begin with the creating of the animation. Click on the first uh, event and pan crop tool, click on it and move it to the right side. You want the last keyframe to be completely at first. I forgot this too. We want to create the transition. Make sure your gun is uh, under, under Nefropito's eye and make sure the space between them is six keyframes. Click on your arrow on your keyboard and make sure you have six keyframes. One, two, three, four, five, six and that's it. Make sure you split these two in half and these two also in half. After that you want to click on this event and pan crop tool. Make sure your keyframe is to the last one, just right here, and make sure it moves completely to the right. After that, let's check how it looks like. Basically it looks like this. Now basically we do the same thing, only in the, only in the opposite direction. Just move it completely to the left, from the first keyframe, and then the last keyframe, you want it to be just right here. And now let's check it. Completely awesome. We made that really great. Now let's add some blur. You want to go to Widow FX, click on Linear Blur, Horizontal Medium, drag it to Nefropito's eye. And click on this one here on amount. You don't want you don't want to mess with the angle. 
make sure your timeline align is set to the first keyframe make sure the first keyframe is set to zero and the last keyframe the last one this is the first this is the last make sure you set the last one to 150 not wonder 150 0 0.150 that's what you want to do and basically do the same thing to gun but just in the opposite direction click on the mount here make sure now the first keyframe is set from 0 0.150 and the last keyframe is going to be 0 so basically it starts from 150 and it slowly ends uh, to 0 so now let's see how it looks like completely awesome if you want I will uh, share this project file with you so you can mess with it but uh, you also have to keep in mind that you will need to have the same project files the same name project files and by that I mean you will need to have this episode here in the last tutorial in the previous tutorial I showed you guys I showed you guys how to download it completely free so if you want you can check that too also I will leave the links into the description for the previous part if you want to check it so basically guys this is our transition and I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned something from it and I hope guys that you will subscribe to my channel in the next tutorial we are going to try to do some zoom transition and that's basically it have a nice day and goodbye